All right, um, I'm going to give you guys a video. I don't know how quick it's going to be, but I'll try to make it as quick as possible. On a um, 20 ounce Yeti, this is not the regular 20 ounces, this is the Yeti brand. Um, I'm going to do a full wrap on this cup with a water slide. I've been trying to do these cups for about six weeks. Been doing cups for just over four years. Average probably 100, 120 cups a month. And um, I also run a shirt shop in my house, a vinyl shop in my house. I do sublimation. Um, I do a lot of sports apparel and I do it all by myself. So um, I don't have a lot of time to do videos, but I hate going live. Don't really even like doing videos, but I couldn't find any videos on 20 ounce Yetis or on full wraps that helped me. So I know that a lot of people are wanting to do full wraps and they're really struggling. So I thought I would help. Um, I did try to watch a few other videos of some different methods, just on regular water slide and not anything that I saw worked for me. So this may not work for you, but it has worked great for me. Um, this is the last cup that I have to do um, of a six cup order. I had a company specifically request Yeti. I've done wraps before and I've never had problems. I've done water slide wraps before on other style of cups. The Ozarks wrap fine. Um, the skinnies wrap really great. I've done fabric wraps. I've done um, full print vinyl wraps and those have all turned out great. These Yetis have given me a really hard time. I've not been able to get my warp right for them. Um, I've contacted Yeti. They don't make wraps for them. Other companies don't print the 20 ounces. They'll do the 30 ounces and they'll do the water bottles and stuff like that. But nobody offers the 20 ounce. So after hours and hours and days and days and days of printing stuff, I finally got my warp pretty much where it fits right on there. Um, the method that I'm coating my water slide in is going to give it a little bit of flexibility, just a tad bit of stretch. Um, because still, even with the warp, it's still not a perfect fit. Um, but the way that I coated this, it's going to help it stay on there pretty well. So um, this is the image I'm going to use. This company specifically requested certain photos. Um, all six cups are different. So the camo ones were much easier. These prints have been a little bit harder to do. Um, but I use rust -Oleum. This is the clear um, I just switched over to a matte clear. I like it a little bit better, even for my glitter cups. Um, I feel like the gloss, there's just some extra stuff that's going on the cup. I mean, I know it's all spray paint, but the gloss to me, I feel like kind of gives a buildup. And then I've seen some people post about, um, this Plasti Dip Glossifier. And I had originally tried some of the videos and some of the posts talked about, you know, clear coat it. Plasti dip it, clear coat it, plasti dip it, clear coat it, you're good. Um, that didn't work for me. Mine, between the clears and the plasti dips, I was getting like cracks in the water slide before I even got it wet. Um, then there were some that said clear coat it twice, plasti dip it once, clear coat it again, worked great. So then did not work for me. Um, was having issues once I got the water slide to the cup with it still ripping and tearing. Um, so after a couple days, I've stripped this cup probably four times now. Um, I finally decided I'm just going to try it my way. If it works, great. If not, I'm just not going to be able to do this job um, because I spent six weeks doing it and I'm frustrated and um, I pride myself in my turnaround time and six weeks is just not acceptable. So um, I tried this and it worked. It worked really, really good. Um, I've been super pleased with the results. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did it real quick. Um, and hopefully it will help. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Part of the reasons why I don't like lives is I'm just really, really busy. I don't have a lot of time to, to go step by step. But So what I did is um, three very light coats of clear. And when I say light, like I keep this typically in a cookie tray, but I just sprayed over it really, really light, blasted it with my blow dryer on low heat, high air. Um, did that for just a few minutes, kind of touched the edge to make sure it wasn't tacky. Another very, very light coat of clear, same thing, blow dryer. Don't have a lot of time to wait between coats, so a lot of times I don't let my paint 
cure naturally, I guess. I go ahead and speed up the process with um, my blow dryer. So third coat is going to be just another really, really light coat. And then that's all I use of clear. Then I take the Plasti Dip and I do a very, very heavy coat. And when I say heavy, um, you can kind of tell how glossy this is. When I have it in the cookie tray, I lean it to where I can see the light reflecting off of it. And you can see this stuff spray out. This is basically like a plastic, kind of. Um, and I spray until the entire area looks like a wet shiny. And then I let that dry. Um, I do use my blow dryer. So don't hold it one spot because you'll start blowing it. I mean, it's going to be pretty thick on you. Um, I use my blow dryer and dry it. Again, touch to make sure I was getting fingerprints or tackiness down here on the white. And then I did another heavy, heavy, heavy coat. And I mean, you can almost feel, I guess, the gloss to this. It's, I mean, you can feel it's thicker than a normal water slide. Um, and then that's all I do. I'm not going to clear coat it again. It's got the clear coat on there. I'm assuming that that's protecting the ink. Then I've got the plastic on top, which is going to allow this to be a little stretchy. And that's kind of what we need for these wraps. So um, I'm just going to cut this one out. And this is printed on white water slide. Um, I was going to do these on clear. But I've struggled enough with these cups. And I did not want to paint more and have to strip more and paint more and strip more. So I said, we're just going to try this on white, and if it works, great. If not, I'm just, I'm just not going to be able to do the cuts. And this white ended up working. Now, the water slides I had tried before this, I've gone through a whole 20 pack. So I've tried a few different methods. I've tried, a, you know, a few different ways. I've tried sublimation wrapping these, didn't work. I tried vinyl print wrapping these, didn't work. I ordered custom prints from another company. They came in. Those didn't even come close to fitting and didn't work. So this is kind of where we're at now. Yeah. I'm also doing this in my kitchen today. Um, I do my water slides in my house um, or any wrapping and vinyling in my house because my shed is overloaded with glitter and it doesn't seem to matter what I do, I get glitter on everything. So um, I do my vinyling inside and I do my men's cups inside to try to keep them from getting glitter and stuff on them. So. Um, you will need your water slide printed. I like to use um, the tea towels to just kind of help pick up the moisture. Um, with the moisture still on this or underneath it, it's still going to be able to move and, and be more flexible. Once I get this where I want it, I'm going to heat it up very, very lightly with my heat gun. That's going to help pull that moisture out and it's going to make it stick. Um, a lot of what I found is, with the other stuff, is I was tearing because I was trying, you know, this side over here was where I wanted it, but I needed to move this, and it was pulling, and once I get it where I want it, I want it to stay there and not move, because then I can move on to the next part of the cup. Um, so I'm going to use this to kind of rub over, and then I'm going to use my heat gun to heat and hold this stuff in place, and hopefully you guys can see how this works. So I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to the camera without getting my computer wet, but... Um, and I just have some lukewarm water here in a Pyrex pan. And I'm going to submerge the whole thing for, I don't know, a couple, couple minutes. Not even a couple minutes, probably a couple seconds. Just until it starts to kind of let itself go. And like I said, this has worked really well on the other wraps that I've done. Um, I've done a camo one. I did a summer setting, one, a su summer sunset one already. The camo ones are pretty easy. Um, some of these scenery ones. Okay, let's see how it just lets itself go. I go ahead and pull the whole thing off. So it's. And you can tell it's not nearly as flimsy as a regular water slide. It'll roll up, but it's not really sticking to itself. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this and just lay it on the cup. It's not going to stick right away. But this way I can get it in position 
And the way that I've printed this for this wrap, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's so glossy. Um, is I have it going a little bit over the edge of the cup here. And then I have it over my seam down here. I will go back and cut those. Um, but for the warp feature to work correctly, to get this to actually meet up, um, I had to make it a little bit longer. So this is going to be so hard to show you guys. Um, as I'm pushing this down, I'm actually taking this and I'm pulling it apart just a little bit. Okay. That is what's going to help me to get back. I know. I know you're going to stop the computer. Um, that's what's going to help it lay flat is that stretchy from top to bottom. Okay. Now that I've got that pretty much flat before I heat it up, see how I've got these pendants that are coming in? I really just want to make sure that when I wrap this, that my edges are all going to cover, okay? Sorry. Which they do. So, since I have this one flat, this is obviously not flat. We've got the lines here and here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and lift it back up because I'm not ready to mess with that side yet, okay? I have this straight and flat how I want it. So, I'm going to take this on low and I'm just going over this edge right here real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to press that edge down. Go ahead and wipe it dry. And you'll feel as you go to wipe when this dries, it almost feels like a plastic wrap. Okay. But now that's that's down. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So then I'm just going to take this wrap and I'm going to pull it for the most part as straight as I can across the middle. Okay. And it's going to overlap just a tad and I'm okay with that. I'm going to have a seam no matter what. So I will deal with that later if it, if it bothers me when I go to epoxy it. Okay. So this middle is completely straight. There's not any air bubbles, nothing. Okay, and I've got it wrapped all the way around. Now I will come back and work on getting these lines out. And how I do that, the tr what I found for me, the trick that works with this is the heat, okay? Only place that I have bumps or lines right now are these right here at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can even see that or not. So right here, there's a line and right here's a line and right here. And it just has to do with the warping, but with this plastic stuff on here, I'm going to heat this up real quick. Okay, so I'm heating up that little line that's right there, and I'm literally going to take my hand, and I'm going to hold it down flat until I can feel the underneath of my cup cool off. And look, that line is completely gone. Okay, I've not necessarily stretched or pulled. I'm just holding it snug, and because there's that plastic on there, it's a little bit more flexible, okay? Oops. Okay. So then if I come over here, I'm going to heat this up just a tad. And I'm not getting super close. You do not want to burn this. You're just warming it up, and then you're going to take those creases. And I, I mean, I'm kind of pull, pulling just a tad because it's stretchy. But then you're just pushing it onto the cup and allowing that cup to cool down. Okay? And you're just going to work your way around the cup anywhere where you have these lines. I hope y'all can see those. There's one right here, one right here, here, here. Let's see. There's one. Okay. 
We're just going to heat in that area. And you can kind of see your water slide start to almost shrink, I guess you would call it. And then you're just going to push. And those lines go completely away. Okay, just like that. Now, the outside of my water slide is not wet anymore. Right? That's what this tea towel's for, is I kind of am wiping anything away. But for the most part, we're not even wet anymore. Okay, so I'm just going to pull and separate a tad, push and hold. Okay. You can feel the heat in your cup just a little bit. You do not want it so hot that you cannot touch it. Okay. There's another one. It should still be kind of warm from just a second ago. So I'm going to make sure there's no water bubbles up there. And I'm going to push and hold. Okay. And you are just, you're really just going to repeat this process all the way around your cup. Okay, so there's those two lines there. Pull it apart just a little bit. Push and hold. Give me just a second. I need my school. Okay. I also use one of these. Um, if I see that I've got a water bubble in the middle, these work really good. I like to use these on even just smaller water slides to get the rest of the water out. I think it's worked really good for these rats too. Okay, so pull it tight, just a tad, press and hold. And guys, this is going to take some time because some of these lines might try to pull back up a little bit because there's still going to be just a, a little bit of moisture underneath. I'm going to show you all the way to the end how I fight these lines. Push and hold. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay. So see if there's like a crease right there in the center of that seam. Okay. I'm really, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to pull. Okay. And when I heat that, I'm just going to hold that down, okay? And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to hold that going down. And all of that's going to be gone. Got a little bit of moisture still in there, so I need to get that out first. Okay. You guys see that crease? Or the seam, I guess. So I'm just going to heat that seam. And it's just that, it just, I don't know, this classy dip stuff makes this 
water slide act like heat shrink. That makes sense. Okay, for the most part, I have this cup wrapped. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up my edges and clean up the top, and we're going to keep heating it till it's all the way on there. Got just a couple spots of moisture still. I'll go around and get those off. And then I'm going to take I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim this down. Now after I epoxy these, I will go up and I actually use an X-Acto knife or a box knife, I guess and scrape my edges and then I'm going to sand this lip very very lightly just to expose a little bit of, of the cup for sealing purposes but now that I have that excess off the top okay I'm going to take my feet again and I'm this time I'm only going to focus on the edge and I'm just going to take my thumb and I'm gonna pull this up like this and hold those down, okay? Okay, and as I'm pushing this, see how that water slide kind of, you can almost kind of push it and move it around just a tad still. But it's not really moving the whole slide. It's, it's almost like that, it's like plastic, like a light, thin plastic. So, I've heated that up how pretty that edge is other than this seam right here which like I said earlier I'm not super worried about that because I will go and take my knife and make that a straight seam so I'm not worried about this little edge that's flipped up because I've made it a little longer okay down here on the bottom I still have one line and one line there my blade and I do not wrap anything below this seam line down here on any of my cups. I hate to glitter below this. I will epoxy below this and epoxy the bases of my cups. But normally I tape off this bottom piece for anything with glitter. Um, until the very first coat of epoxy, and then I take that tape off. Right. Okay, now I'm going to take my heat again, and I'm just going to hit these this bottom.
And then I'm just going to press and hold again. No lines. And then I do stuff like this and I wonder why it took me six weeks. When it's in a single line or a single scratch, is that a bubble? I mean, this is for me, it's a game changer. Um, I don't do a lot, a lot of wraps, I really don't. Um, I have done them before, I do fat, I've done fabric and printed vinyl. Um, but For people that do do full cup wraps all the time. Game changer. Absolute game changer. And see, I just found a water bubble underneath this fish. And I'm still able to push it out for the most part. So let me know if you guys have any questions and I will do my best to answer them. Like I said, I'm pretty busy, um, so I don't do a whole lot of videos, but I know this particular cup kicked my butt, so. If you guys have any questions, just let me know, okay? Good luck.